Yeah, I went to the Jays game Friday night against the Tigers, and uh, during the seventh inning, I uh, deposited my brother onto the uh, field at uh, Rogers Center, and then uh, I got sworn by the police and some uh, Jays officials, and they weren't too pleased with the whole uh, ordeal. I, I, I mean, it. I did. There was no like emotional moment when I did it. It was more like just you know, do it and get out of there, trying to get caught. But apparently. That didn't happen. I got caught. So, I mean, you know, we paid tribute to him at his uh, as memorial stuff like that. This is, I mean, it, he's been dead almost a year and a half now. So, uh, it just it's kind of like closure. You know what I mean? It's kind of done now. And, you know, we all move on. Uh, he was he was he was a huge Jays fan, right? And uh, we'd always laughed, would have thrown around the idea before, you know, obviously before he died. And uh, I, I just felt it was fitting. It was a fitting tribute, I guess. You know, regardless of whether they vacuum it up or not, you know, it's still, uh, I guess it was a gesture more than anything. Died of a heart attack on February 1st, 2013, uh, in Calgary, Alberta. Um, he's just a, just a family guy. He worked hard. Um, he had a daughter, um, Brooklyn. Um, didn't have much family left. His mother and father had passed away a previous year. So, um, that was pretty much all the family he had left. And uh, I don't know, just uh, he's just a really good guy, man. Really, uh, always late for the party, always jokes. Anyone that knew him loved him. I mean, like like close closer than most brothers are. I mean, there was times we had nothing. We'd sleep on the floor together. You know what I mean? A fucking one bedroom apartment. Uh, you know, uh, I was with him every day. Anywhere we went, we're together. You know what I mean? Everyone knew us kind of as being together all the time. Type deal, right? Um, so yeah, I mean. Just all around really stand-up guy, loyal guy.